Hi, in this video I will be discussing the differences between the two languages that can be used in Unreal Engine 4. These are Blueprints, the in-engine specific language that can be quickly used to auto-generate code snippets to create new features in a game. The other one is C++ which is a high level programming language tailored specifically towards experienced coders. Ok, so in my videos I teach Blueprints because they are much faster to create and so are great for prototyping new features which is basically what my videos are. Tutorials on creating prototype features that you can then take and implement into your own games. Because of this they aren't the most efficient of languages and so any high resource games, think RPGs such as Skyrim or open world games like GTA, these types of games would suffer performance losses due to the conversion of blueprints to code not being the best. However they are still able to create most features that any game could want and require relatively low or basically no previous coding experience. This makes them perfect for small or solo game studios who are creating small or solo games. However, they are much less powerful than C++. And as a result, they cannot edit the source code of the Unreal Engine directly. This limits you to things like predefined physics, such as gravity is a scalar force, uh, it's not a vector, so it's always acting in the minus C axis, so it's acting downwards, you can't change that without faking it, which again in itself is inefficient. The syntax can also be changed during updates, so blueprints from before an update like 4.7.6 could actually no longer work in the newest one 4.8.1 due to the syntax of the language being changed. As I said before, the other program language used is C++. So C++ on the other hand is one of the most powerful high level programming languages available and as such is used only by experienced coders and is definitely not a language to learn if you have never coded before. C++ allows the most efficient control over hardware and how code acts before getting turned into low level languages such as assembly language or binary which aren't readable by humans and so wouldn't be used in a game engine. Because of this, they can be used to create an infinite amount of powerful tools and features and games. This is definitely the case in Unreal Engine 4, because it uses C++ to create the source code for the engine, meaning C++ is the programming language used to create the engine itself. So people coding in C++ can actually customize the source code of the engine directly and change things. For example, gravity as used before, they could change it so it is a vector and not a scalar, allowing it also to be changing the blueprints itself from that point forwards because the player can then call the blueprint gravity and change it into the vector they want. Because of how C++ can be written compared to blueprints, it also has much less overhead on computer hardware, making it the most efficient choice for large games and as such large studios. Unlike Blueprints, which limits itself to generally small studios and games, C++ can be used for any size games in any size studios due to its efficiency, etc. Like I said before though, it, it was not meant to be used by inexperienced coders and would require someone with a lot of programming knowledge and a lot of experience. So you generally find them in probably mid to high range studios. However, it is not a great tool for prototyping unlike blueprints because it requires a lot more time to create the functions and features and tools than it would in blueprints as you have to manually create the code. Ok so I hope that was a helpful insight into the difference between blueprints and C++ and why I should use one or the other, why I teach blueprints personally and why C++ is generally used in larger games. This is why Unreal Engine 4 specifically markets their blueprints language because it is much easier for everybody to use and develop with. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did give it a thumbs up, if you didn't give it a thumbs down, if your opinions are otherwise or you have any advice or questions just leave it down in the comments below and I'll get back to it when I can. Ok, and as always don't get subscribed. Thank you, bye.